Okay, this is the first chapter of my uh, audio blog, if I can call it this way, uh, of my trip uh, to China, to the ADCC in China. So I'm very excited. So first of all, uh, whoever is uh, listening to this uh, message, uh, I apologize for my accent. I'm working on it. And well, by the years, we're going to get better and better. So uh, coming from Los Angeles, I had a stop in Korea. Uh, layover about six hours in there which was cool because uh, they had a, a little uh, hotel that you could be in the lobby, and in that lobby, if you pay 30 bucks, you could eat as much as you want and uh, still take a shower. You just didn't have a, the actually the room, so it was perfect. Uh, I could do my some of my internet job, and time just fly. It went, it went real quick, so uh, I got the flight to Beijing, got here in Beijing around 4 p.m. until I clear Cosmos and everything, I got into the cab, so that was the first uh, adventure, all right, so I got into the cab, and before I got into the cab, they got, in, they got you in line, I asked, hey, hey, do you guys have a, um, uh, I would say cab, and what's the best one to get? It, this is inside the airport before I leave the airport. I left the airport, so uh, they said, "No, no, yes, you have. We have the the. the it's all safe, and uh, it's a airport taxi." So, in matter of fact, yes, it was an airport fact, uh, airport taxi. But some people right beside, in there, some you know Chinese people that they speak a little bit of English, they try to get you. Uh, in a better car and uh, and so on, offering a better a better uh, service. I almost fell on it because you know you have the the American uh, standards and uh, I if I go from the the airport to my house, I would pay like seventy bucks or more in a cab, and uh, so the guy was pretty much offering. He showed me a little a little paper that you know the cost would be six hundred uh, yuan here the Chinese money and which is a hundred bucks. I said, oh my god, a hundred bucks. You know, yeah, it's expensive, but you know, it's about the price if it's in America. But come on, we're not in America, so let's see. Uh, I said, no, no, no. I so I tried to fight uh, for the price three hundred and fifty. I fought. Uh, I, uh, Offered him, no, he no, he got kind of sued. I said, no, 350, 350. And uh, he, so he told me to go to the regular taxi, but them do not, they do not speak English at all. So, uh, and my address was in, in like, you know, regular uh, Western correct, characters. Uh, if I'm sorry, again, sorry, my English, if you, you know, if you understand. So uh, I, I decided to go back inside the airport to the information and and ask them uh, how much it would it be to go to this hotel. And then the lady said, oh, so you have to put in Chinese characters. Uh, and then, uh, uh, so in Chinese, you know, once it was in Chinese, the, all the cabs they could uh, read and take you to the, to the airport. So that makes it easy. That's the first lesson. I got it. So now I have a bunch of little papers here. Where I want to go, I just hop in the cab and tell him. But don't forget to first uh, in the cab, the one that you know they are pretty. So the taxi, they're pretty uh, honest. They you know they start their meter and whatever it is, and it's pretty cheap. But uh, sometimes they don't they, on the street. They don't stop for you, and you have those little bicycles, and they try to you know they just try to you know, rob you. But you know it's it's okay. It's it's part of surviving. And uh, uh, when I say robbing is in a good term, term you know they're just trying to you know get the, the much money they can. Uh, pretty cool. And you just have to fight for the, for the, you know, for the price. I had a guy, you know, he, no cabs, because I went to a place, uh, 
So, anyways, going back. So, uh, let me stop from. Uh, let me stop here. So, I got into my. Uh, got into the hotel. Uh, the reservation that I made online seems that didn't went through. So they don't have. They didn't have any more rooms for me. And it was the same hotel that the team was going to be. So actually, they staying. They are dividing two hotels right close to to Chihuahua. And right in, uh, in the middle is the venue and where the competition is gonna be. So, anyways couldn't get in there so I went to the other hotel I met a couple people the organizers were there and again they didn't have any rooms for me so very very little English they they helped me but they tried to help me and at the beginning I, I was really lost because uh, you know I thought the reservation was going to be okay and uh, very very small uh, little English okay I can't well, I can't blame them. They have you know, billions of people here living with, uh, you know, just speaking Chinese. And, and maybe that is not much a necessity of speaking English. Uh, and my English is not that, that great anyway, so I can't blame them. But it was hard, the communication. But they were trying a lot to help me. And uh, we have to, you know, get a piece of paper and, and draw in the paper. And it was, it was cool. So they, they took me to this hotel just a little further, maybe five minutes from, you know, from the other five, maybe ten minutes walk. Uh, okay, very good hotel. Uh, hotel, And they got, you know, got me a room. And that's where I'm at at this moment talking to you guys. It's the, you know, here is the, uh, the hotel, but I just can't be here for this night. So to, I'm leaving now 7 a.m. because I'm going to the Great Wall. And... Um, yeah, that's it. Tomorrow, uh, after when I come back, I had to go to another hotel that they already kind of uh, scheduled and helped me out. So I'm going to go to another hotel and I think I hope everything's going to be all right. So I tell you in the, when I come back how the, the second day worked. And uh, so uh, after the hotel, I'm sat in the hotel, left my stuff here. I decide with the organizers, uh, they are all Chinese people. They showed me some places to go, so they have a place, uh, you know, that you go and and buy the, you know, buy the stuff. A lot, of, a lot of fake stuff, and I'm not much into the brand things, but you know, just if if you know, I got a good quality, I, I don't care, and it's a good price. And I'm, I love to get like little souvenirs from places that I get, you know, about, about from my mom. And every place I go, I try to bring her some souvenirs. So I, I decided to go there. It's so cool, man. So cool. They told me, you have to, whatever price they say, take 70% off and, and fight for it. They're going to make it. So that was, sometimes 70% was horrible price. But I still, I still got it. I still got it. And, uh, you know, they, they, I say 70%, they got in Sudan, no, 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 so I said, okay, and I leave, and then they go, come on, come on, come back, last price, say again, uh, and I kept on the 70% down, I'm sorry, 70% off, and you kept them back and forth, like, for two, three minutes, and then when you leave, really decide to leave, uh, you know, because you can try any any other place. They say okay, okay, and then they they got the money, and uh, you know, you you always buy the stuff for seventy percent off. So it's cool, it's cool stuff. Uh, but they're tough, you know. And I think the whole experience. I don't know, being Brazilian is funny, you know. I don't know uh, if you would find out being funny, but I thought it was pretty cool. They're not trying to rip off anyone. It's just about, you know, it's just about getting the best for their buck, and you know, they they keep the price higher, and you just try to get your the best for your buck, and uh, that's it. So right now it's like five a.m. because of the you know jet lag, the difference of the you know the hours. I already awake uh, at seven. I will be going to the Great Wall, uh, and I will tell you later how that worked and uh, how stuff will you know is gonna work and hopefully everything is gonna be okay it seems that it's a little too cold it's a little colder now like maybe zero celsius which is uh, 32 fahrenheit which is colder for me not for co not, not so colder for people who live in the east coast so i hope you guys liked that story and Tomorrow, more 
news from the you know a, my trip to the ADCC. Uh, yesterday I didn't see many many fighters. I got you know I got to talk to some, but it wasn't uh, much. Uh, actually, I just saw four of them, and uh, uh, that's it. I talk to you guys tomorrow. I hope hopefully you like. And this is my first. This is the this is the end of my first uh, chapter of my trip to the ADCC. Thank you.